welcome to quantitative reasoning solution section and we have quantitative reasoning from lantern step book 6 page 44 and we have this problem before us thank you for joining in today and to our new subscribers and to our new viewers thank you for joining in please do well to subscribe to this channel and to our subscribers thank you for staying with us and we have this problem before us we have three two seven four five and for this example we have seven five twenty six six and eight all right so we're going to uh, walk through this problem right now okay so looking at this um we need to walk through this so what happened to seven so let's look at five times three fifteen and four times two eight 15 minus 8 is 7. So let's do the same thing here. 8 times 7 is 56. 6 times 5 is 30. 56 minus 30, we have 26. So uh, with that, we, we've gotten a guide for this. So let's solve with it to find, to find 7. We have 5 times 3, which is 15. And here we have 4 times 2, which is 8. So we're going to subtract and we have our 7. Okay, so to find, to find 5, so let's try to find 5. We're going to multiply here 4 times 2. 4 times 2 is 8. 8 plus 7 is 15. So 15 divided by 3. We have 5. Alright. So let's find. Let's find 3. We're going to do the same thing. 4 times 2 is 8. 8 plus 7 is 15 and 15 divided by 3 15 divided by 5 we have our 3 so to find to find 4 we're going to do the inverse of what we have done 5 times 3 is 15 15 minus 7, we have 8. So 8 divided by 2, we have 4. You get that? So let's find 2. Finally, to find 2, do well to subscribe to this channel for more quantitative and mathematics problem. So to find 2, we have 5 times 3 is 15 and 15 minus 7 is 8 so we can then say 8 divided by 4 is 2 all right so at this point please kindly subscribe to this channel for more quantitative and mathematics problems and solutions bye